channel today we are going to be starting the not so berry challenge i'm super excited about this because i've obviously seen my friends play it and it looks like a lot of fun and i actually started playing the not so berry challenge on my spanish channel so if you guys are interested in watching that i'm going to link it in the description down below also known as the doobly do but yeah so the not so berry challenge is a lot of fun i'm sure that most of you already know what this is about but for those who don't know what it is i'm going to explain it as best as I can. First of all, I need to say that this challenge was created by Lil Simsy, so I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description down below as well as a link to the rules so you guys can go ahead and, and take a look at that as well. And um, let me go ahead and tell you guys what the Not So Berry Challenge is about. So basically, it's kind of like a legacy challenge, but there are 10 generations in total and each generation has to represent a specific color and also has to fulfill or complete a specific set of rules or goals before you can move on to the next generation. So today we are going to be starting with obviously the first generation whose color is mint. So let's go ahead and create our sim and we will be right back so we can take a look at the rules for the first generation.
right, I am finally done with our beautiful Sim, whose name is going to be, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Katie Berry. Ha, get it? Actually, my husband was the one who came up with this name, so I'm going to leave a link to my husband's channel in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and check him out. So yeah, um, I wanted to use names, like punny names, like Katy Berry for this series, and this is the first one that we came up with, and I love it, so I introduced to you Katy Berry, isn't she beautiful? Oh, she's so gorgeous. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and grab my phone because this is where I have the information for the Generation 1, the traits, aspiration, and rules for Generation 1. Okay, so Generation 1, Mint, the description is as follows. You are a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint. You're career-driven, but you still make time for silly pranks and outgoings with your closest friends. You love luxury and want the best for yourself and your family. So, the uh, aspiration that we have to give her is Chief of Mischief. So, that should be in the Viants. Um, public enemy, chief of mischief. There we go. Now the traits is that she has to be a vegetarian. So vegetarian. She has to be jealous. Um, jealous, jealous, jealous. And she also has to be materialistic. Uh, where's materialistic? Materialistic, materialistic. There we go. All right, so we're good with the aspirations and the other two things that we need to follow or complete in order for us to move on to the next generation is that we need to set her to be um, or set her to join the scientist career. And the rules are that she has to master the scientist career, so reach level 10. She also has to master the mischief and logic skills, so those two also level 10. And she has to complete the elements collection. So... Let me go ahead and show you guys this sim, this beautiful sim. So this is her first outfit. Then we have another outfit. And yet we have another outfit for the daily outfits. Cause I just, I just, I just love this sim so much. And I kept seeing things that I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to use this. And I also want to use this. So I just decided to make a bunch of outfits for her. So yeah, so these are all of her um, normal day or everyday outfits. Then we have her formal wear. So she also has to this beautiful dress over here. And this one, I just, I just had to use this one because I am in love with this t-shirt look at this well not t-shirt with this shirt it is so beautiful i love this blouse it's so gorgeous i'm going to leave a link to this blouse in the description down below as well because it is so cute and if the link is not there remind me in the comment section and i'll go ahead and add it okay um, then we have her sportswear, which, you know, it's okay, I guess, you know. Um, then we have her sleepwear, and this was just perfect. Like, this out this outfit is mint color, so it's perfect. Um, then we have her party wear, and she has two outfits for this one. She has this one, which is super cute. I think I'm gonna add a little necklace, because it's a little bit too empty over here. So let's go ahead and add a necklace. Necklace, give me a necklace, a beautiful necklace, Some, something simple, like that maybe? Oh, I like this one, <gasps> perfect, yes, you are complete. Okay, so that one, good to go. And then we have this outfit over here, another dress that I absolutely love, it's so cute. And then finally, we have her swimwear, which is super cute. I love it. She is gorgeous. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the video, which is the house. So let me go ahead and show you guys what house I picked for this challenge. And this is a house that I picked. It's called Blue House, and it was made by Arima2005. So if you guys are interested in downloading this house, go to Arima2005's player profile and just look for Blue House. And yeah, there you go. So this is a house that I decided to use for the Not So Berry Challenge. It is so cute. I am in love with the house. Let me go ahead and show you guys how it looks so far. So over here, it's already pretty minty, so I don't think I'm gonna change much of the first floor, but I am going to be changing a little bit of things on the second floor so we can have an office. And um, yeah, so let me go ahead and modify the house so it's a little bit more minty, and hopefully you guys will like the end result. <laughs>
All right, so we are finally done with the house. I think it looks pretty minty, doesn't it? I think it looks pretty good. Um, so let me go ahead and give you guys a tour. So over here, we have the entrance of the house and we have a cute little fireplace with an ottoman and a place so you can read your books. Then over here, we have the formal dining room and these objects right there look like they're floating, but they're not, okay? They're not floating, they're just there it just it looks weird because i use a little cheatsy thing that makes you move them up and down and stuff so yeah <laughs> um anywho then over here we have this gorgeous kitchen it's so huge guys this is like the dream kitchen for everybody it's amazing. I love it. Um, then over here, we have the living room. And I didn't change much on the living room. I think I just modified the couches. And that's pretty much it. And then over here, we have one of the bathrooms. And this other bathroom, I didn't modify it much. I think it was almost perfect. I think the only thing that was bothering me was the color for the mirror. So I changed that. But I really liked um, what the builder, the original builder, did over here. I really like it. So I just modified the color and that was it and then over here we have the second floor which is gorgeous as well and I decided to modify one of the one of the bedrooms I, I'm sure you guys already saw it but in case you missed it let me go ahead and show you guys what I did so I am a huge closet fan like if I buy a house I want to have a big closet so I decided that for this house I was going to remove one of the rooms and make myself a walk-in closet. So here you go, guys. We have a beautiful walk-in closet. Look at that, it is so cute. So you can either go to the bathroom by uh, walking through the closet from the master bedroom, or you can also use this door. There's a, there's a door right here. So you can go to the bathroom as well. So this is going to be the master bath. <gasps> and I just noticed I didn't finish it. Oh, well. You see, you see, let me go ahead and furnish that real quick and we'll continue with the tour. We go okay I think that works right that looks cute I think that looks cute yeah okay so there now we have the master bedroom <laughs> I mean the master bathroom yay <laughs> fixed it um I don't know if I want to change the color on this one I kind of like the way it looks already yeah I'm just gonna leave it like that so um anywho this is the master bathroom and it's super cute as well I love that these showers already come with the mint color over here so it's just super easy to just use that one because it's gorgeous it's really cute um then over here here we have our little office and since we have to collect the el the elements I went ahead and purchased this little thing because I believe that you can just um, drag and drop the elements and um, they should pop up over here like in these tiny little squares right there and I also went ahead and purchased um, a chess table because I know that she also has to reach level 10 on her logic skill so now we have a chess table so we can start practicing the logic skill and um that should be it i think i think the house turned out really cute i really like it i didn't modify anything on the outside because there's really no need to do that and it's already really cute so yeah i think the house turned out fantastic let me know in the comment section what do you guys think but that is going to be it for today's episode guys thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to leave a like and i will see you in the next episode have an amazing day, guys. I love you. Bye-bye.